before LeBron. Before Kobe, may he rest in peace, and before Jordan, there were other legends who ruled the basketball courts. And one of the most dangerous adversaries in the NBA was the Los Angeles Laker, Irvin Magic Johnson. There is always a challenger to any title though, a rival that forces a great player to perform at the highest level of their game. One of these players goes by the name of Larry Legend Bird, and in his prime was a force to be reckoned with as a player for the Boston Celtics. The rivalry between these two men is one of the only reasons the NBA even exists today. Larry Joe Bird was born December 7, 1956 in Spring Valley, Indiana, and would get the nickname The Hick from French Lick after his high school. He would grow up to be 6 foot 9 and 220 pounds, playing college ball from 76 to 79 and was selected in the first round and sixth overall in the 1978 draft to the Boston Celtics. Bird would play as a forward under the number 33 and would sign the biggest rookie contract ever at the time before winning Rookie of the Year in the NBA in 1980. Irvin Magic Johnson, born in Lansing, Michigan, August 14, 1959, would have the exact same body size of 6 foot 9 and 220. He would play with Michigan State, and the two men's rivalry would begin in 1979 at the NCAA Division Tournament with Magic's team, the Spartans, beating Bird's Indiana State Sycamores by a score of 75 to 64. Magic would later be drafted as the first pick in the first round, and while Bird won the Rookie of the Year, Johnson would help the LA Lakers win the championship before taking home the award for MVP. The Celtics would answer right back and win, becoming champions in 1981 against the Houston Rockets after the Lakers were beaten. The year after, in 1982, the Celtics were on their way to being eliminated themselves from the Philadelphia 76ers. And as the fans knew the Celtics couldn't win when the game was almost over, the Boston fans started chanting for Philly to beat LA. That's how big the rivalry was. The 76ers would do just that and took down the win against the Lakers in 1983. After that, either Los Angeles or the Celtics were in the NBA Finals every single year all the way up until 1989. Magic Johnson was quoted as saying, when the new schedule came out, I'd grab it and circle just the Boston games. Larry Bird went on to say that the first thing I would do every morning was look at the box scores to see what Magic did. I didn't care about anything else. Both players would win almost every award that professional basketball has to offer, and their personal stats are beyond impressive. The Lakers franchise would continue winning the NBA championship several times into the 2000s, but without Magic Johnson, who retired in 1991 after learning he had contracted HIV. Larry Bird would retire the year after, in 1992, from gigantic back issues, and Boston fans would have to endure a giant slump after he retired as a player. The Boston Celtics didn't win again until 2008. The Celtics and Lakers rivalry in the 80s was massive, fueled because of the personal competition of Bird and Johnson. But off the court they would become friends, even co-writing a book together in 2009 called When the Game Was Ours. Without the arrival of Johnson and Bird as players, the low TV ratings could have ended the NBA entirely, and fans of basketball owe Larry Legend and Magic Johnson a huge debt of gratitude.